Hi, this is Mohamed Shakil here and today I'm going to show you something important that you must be knowing, the drafting workbench of KTV5. So that is the inserting sheets in the current file. So uh, to do that, let me just uh, start off with the drafting workbench. So I'll go to the drafting workbench here. So let it be just like that. So you can insert additional sheets to the current drafting file by using the new sheet tool. This is a good practice when you need to generate the drawings of all components of an assembly and also its other views such as asymmetric view or uh, the views in the bill of materials and uh, the balloons in the single, single drawing files. So um, you will learn uh, more about the bill of materials and balloons in the later videos that I'm going to upload. So uh, pay attention. You can uh, you can create the new sheet tool. Uh, you can uh, insert the new sheet by uh, two methods. That is one. Go to insert drawing sheets and new sheet. Another way is uh, there is a drawing toolbar here. So if it's not available, select the drawing toolbar. And in the drawing toolbar, you have the drawing sheets uh, drop down and from there you have the new sheet tool you have another tool called as a new detail sheet which I'll be explaining in my next video so uh, that's how you can invoke the tool it is easier to manage all the drawings at the same time because a multi-sheet uh, drawing file will act as a single storage space for drawing all the components of that assembly. Note that the size of the multi-sheet drawing document with all the drawing views of the component of the assembly is less than the combined size of the individual drawing views of the drawing views of all the components of the assembly. So uh, that is a point to be noted and uh, to insert uh, let me just uh, show you how you can insert the new sheet in the drafting workbench. So as I said, you can uh, use any of these methods. So I'm uh, going to insert drawing sheets and new sheet. So this new sheet button, you can click on it. And you can see that uh, once you do that, the newly inserted sheet is active here. To activate the previous sheet, you can click on it click on sheet 1 tab of uh, the top of the drawing sheet or double click on the sheet 1 so you can see if you double click it will be activated like this you can also choose the activate sheet option from the contextual menu to activate the previous sheet so if you right click and if you go here you have the option to activate the sheet this way in these three ways you can activate the sheet you can also reorder uh, the sequence of sheet say you are working on a lot of sheets here so you're 3 to sheet 5, you're working on sheet 5. And let's say that uh, you want the sheet 5 to come below uh, the sheet 2, that is in between the sheet 2 and 3. So what you can do is uh, you just right click on uh, the sheet 5 and you get a contextual menu. And what you can do is you can go to sheet 5 object and you have this reorder option. Once you click on this and once you hold your mouse on this particular branch, you can see your cursor has changed to a downward arrow. So that it simply means that uh, it means that uh, if you click on just over, over sheet 3, it means that the sheet 5 is going to come below sheet 3. And if I press the control key, the arrow is going to change upwards that means that the sheet 5 is going to be placed just above sheet 3 so that's about uh, the reordering of uh, the already created sheets and uh, the last thing that I wanted to show you is uh, renaming the sheets so I'm pressing escape so I'll come out of that option so you can rename a sheet from the specification tree to do so select it from the specification tree and then right click a contextual menu is going to appear so let's say I'm going to uh, change the name of uh, sheet 4 so here I'm going to select the rename option and if you don't uh, you have to go to the properties so right click and uh, you'll get the properties and over here you have the option to change uh, your uh, sheet name so let's say you are uh, typing it as uh, so some name so let's say your bench wise drawing is in this particular sheet so that's how you change the name of the sheet so finally uh, how you can delete a sheet say this sheet 5 is something that you don't require uh, 
at the moment. So let's say you're going to right click on the particular sheet and you have this option called as delete or you can simply press the delete key. So once you do that, they're going to ask you removing a sheet cannot be undone. You sure you want to proceed anyway. So if you once you click on OK and your sheet is gone, deleted. So that's how you can uh, work with the sheets in the draft and workbench of KTIV5. So I hope you uh, uh, you're going to use this uh, sheet technique in your upcoming drafting assignments. So hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching.